from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. Well, the severe thunderstorm watch that we had for much of the afternoon and evening for most of our southern Illinois counties was allowed to expire on time here at the top of the hour at 10 o'clock. And our severe weather threat has really diminished now uh, for tonight. Having said that, we still have a lot of showers and embedded thunderstorms making their way slowly from west to east across the tri-state. So let's take a look at that. It's been a while, though, since we've had a severe thunderstorm warning. And again, we're not really expecting any more as we go through uh, the rest of tonight. The trend will continue to be for the severe threat to diminish and the showers and thunderstorms to slowly diminish as we head into and through the overnight hours. But we still have some moderate to heavy rain and some cloud to ground lightning and still can't rule out some gusty winds uh, from some of the stronger parts of these storms. So let's kind of take a look at things. Again, working from west to east across the tri-state, we'll start south of the Ohio River. And you've got some moderate rain down in Hopkins County, but the heaviest of the rain is closer to the Ohio River from the Evansville area through much of Henderson County now, still coming out of western and southern Union County just kind of starting to move back into Webster County. You guys had some heavier rain and that has now shifted to the east and now moving into parts of Davis County. So you're getting ready to get some heavier rain in Owensboro. That's moving in now and then also down through much of McLean County and eventually that's going to move over here uh, into Ohio County. Then we move farther north of the Ohio River and again Evansville still getting some heavy rain and some thunder and lightning right now too. Parts of Posey County as well. Gibson County you've kind of been in a lull for a while or kind of gotten missed, but you're now beginning to see some of that heavier rain cross over the Wabash River into western Gibson County from Wabash County, Edwards County, and now into uh, eastern Wayne County. And then northwest corner of the tri-state, Clay, Richland, Lawrence counties getting some, a couple of the strongest storms that we have right now. Again, no warning on this, but some very heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning, and could still be uh, some gusty winds there as it pushes to the east. So we'll continue to have this pretty large large cluster work through here late this evening but continue to gradually diminish overnight. And there it is, a wet view of downtown Evansville from the top of Fifth Third Bank with our superior ag tower camera there. And there is that light show that we are seeing across much of the tri-state uh, tonight. It's 74 degrees, so it is still warm at the 10 o'clock hour, and it is still humid. Look at the dew point, 69. And we have been in that humid air, if not very humid at times this weekend. It's come on pretty quick and it's been a little tough to take. We're just not used to it yet, but here's the good news. By tomorrow morning, I think we're going to be falling through that tolerable air, and we may even get some pleasant air in here during the day tomorrow. And then once we drop the humidity, I think we're going to kind of stay down here uh, for really all of the week. So temperatures right now in the 70s, upper 60s in the northwest corner. We've got this uh, complex coming through right now, but it will continue to diminish, and Future Tracker shows a diminishing trend overnight. Now tomorrow, we'll have clouds, a little sun mixing in. Still can't rule out a few of these spotty showers or a thunder shower, but overall a pretty dry day. Then later tomorrow night into Tuesday, we're going to watch another system that's moving farther north now. So that's going to increase our rain chances again as we head into Tuesday morning and then get on out of here later Tuesday afternoon. But overnight tonight, the showers and storms we have right now will gradually diminish. We'll drop it down into the low to mid 60s. Then tomorrow, a little clearing, nothing more than a few spotty thunder showers, a cooler, less humid day, 70 to 75 the high tomorrow. Same story on Tuesday, but a better chance for some showers and a few storms, so we'll keep an eye on that. Wednesday and Thursday look mainly dry and pretty nice, mid to upper 70s and not too humid. Another decent chance for showers and storms, it looks like, on Friday. But if the timing holds, we should be getting that out of here in time for a dry and nice one next weekend with low 70s on Saturday and upper 70s next Sunday. Cody? All right, looks great. Thank you, Stacy. Still ahead here tonight, NBA.